Hi folks, thanks for joining us here at Samsung Developer Conference 2021. My name is Kevin Tobin and I'm Director for B2B Product Partnerships out of Samsung Mobile's global B2B team here in Suwon, Korea. In my role here, I have the pleasure of working with a diverse range of partners, from our platform partners Google, who we're excited to partner with on Wear OS, to customers that are looking to utilize wearables, or partners that are building bespoke wearable solutions. For this session, I will be walking you through an overview of how we see the Galaxy Watch from a B2B perspective and highlight some of the B2B development opportunities. At the end of the session, I will share with you some contact resources for our global B2B wearable team if you do want to reach out to learn more. So please, keep an eye out for that. So let me take you through the things I will be covering here in this session. I'll start by talking a little bit about the shift from Tizen to Wear OS. Next, we will take some time to explore some of the B2B capabilities of the new Galaxy Watch 4. Then, I will share with you some of the use cases and the references that we have seen develop for wearables. While we're not here to tell you what and how to develop wearable solutions, this section should serve as a guide to the possibilities that building on what Galaxy Watch can offer. And finally, our friends at Harman Connected Services will join us to share some of the learnings they have from implementing the key features of the Samsung Gear Up solution. Okay, so let's get started. Why have we made the transition to Wear OS here at Samsung? So Tizen is and was a wonderful operating system that has allowed us to develop a really solid understanding of what makes a strong and robust wearable platform. We've partnered with our friends at Google since the start of our smartphone strategy, and the decision was made to look again to Google to partner on our wearable platforms, taking the strengths of what we had learned previously from Tizen and merging that with the Google's investment in Wear OS. By combining the best of our two operating systems, Tizen and Wear OS, into one single unified platform, we realized three primary synergies for the Galaxy Watch. First is the continuity that we see from aligning operating systems on the phone and the watch. Our previous watch experience is great, but with devices running two different operating systems, there are inevitable limitations to the experience we could deliver. By committing to Wear OS, we overcome these limitations. We welcome the traditional Google applications back onto the Galaxy Watch and the Google services from our smartphones now extend to the Galaxy Watch 4. And we deliver the ability for developers to build seamless experiences that extend from the phone onto the watch with ease. Second, by making this transition to Wear OS, we bring the power of the Google ecosystem to the Galaxy Watch. At Samsung, it's really important to us to expand our ecosystem and allow our developer and partner community to use their existing skills to evolve the smartwatch experience. We heard from this community that you wanted a more streamlined development experience for Samsung products. And we believe that this commitment to a unified platform on the Watch 4 can ignite innovation in spaces like the Galaxy Watch Studio and enable developers and partners to create new experiences that can be scaled quickly to benefit Galaxy users around the world. And just like our smartphone partnership with Google, we will continue to deliver a user experience that Samsung users know and love. Experiences like Samsung's One UI will continue to power the watch and we will continue to enhance our new UI to provide a more intuitive and streamlined experience. Overall, while this is very much a new era in our smartwatch journey, we are ensuring that the best capabilities of Samsung smartwatches are brought forward into this unified platform. So let me switch gears and take some time to explore why our developer and partner community should consider the Galaxy Watch for B2B. Wearable devices have been around for a number of years now, and like a lot of mobile tech, what starts out first as a consumer device quickly evolves to define and deliver on B2B or enterprise use cases. While we've seen mobile phones and tablets become commonplace in work scenarios, the adoption of wearables has been a bit of a slower burn. But devices have evolved, and there are a number of key use cases that are becoming more commonplace, 
so that we're seeing an acceleration of wearables being adopted in B2B or work environments in recent times. The Galaxy Watch 4 is loaded with best-in-class wearable technology that you have come to expect from a Samsung Galaxy Watch. And enterprise design was a key consideration. Enterprise users want to be able to trust a device to be durable and to deliver, even in the toughest environments. With MIL standard 810G compliance and IP68 rating, the Galaxy Watch 4 stands up against shock, vibration, heat, cold, and it delivers protection against ingress from water, dust, dirt, or sand. As we deployed more watches in enterprise scenarios, we heard customers and developers wanted an alternative to the increasingly saturated 2.4 gig Wi-Fi and realized the potential of the more open and the much faster 5 gig band. So the Galaxy Watch 4 is the first Samsung Galaxy Watch to have 5 gig Wi-Fi. We equipped the Galaxy Watch 4 Classic with a rotating physical bezel to deliver a physical input and navigation method. And glove touch capabilities are on all Galaxy Watch 4 models to ensure that workers wearing gloves will be able to use device with ease. For business scenarios, it's super important to be able to enroll, provision, and then manage devices. So we're working closely again with our friends at Google to bring Android Enterprise capabilities to Wear OS. Based on this, Samsung is working to deliver two key device management solutions for our business customers. Knox Mobile Enrollment will enable businesses to enroll large numbers of devices through a simple and efficient process, similar to how we offer Knox Mobile Enrollment today for mobile devices. And once enrolled, Knox Manage will allow businesses to provision their devices set up specific behaviors for the device and manage them on an ongoing basis. Knox Mobile Enrollment and Knox Manage are not available today as we're still working with the folks in Google to enable and deliver these capabilities. We'll keep you posted on developments for these services, so stay tuned. Or you can always connect with your local Samsung contacts or reach out to us here to learn more. We have always offered access to sensors on the Galaxy Watch devices. And as we commit to this unified platform for Galaxy Watch 4, we wanted to continue offering this great tool for developers. There's a mix of public and private APIs that can be leveraged. The public APIs are typically made available by Google as part of the Wear OS platform. And through Wear, you can access data APIs which deliver process data for things like activity, sleep, vital signs, or body comp and tracking APIs, which deliver direct sensor data for things like basic location, movement, or simple health data. Samsung offers more granular access to device sensors with private APIs. Here, the process data APIs provide access to analyzed data for activities like sleep, exercise dynamics, personal health. The tracking APIs deliver access to raw data like PPG green, red, and infrared. ECG and IBI, and access to batch data for HR or body composition. Okay, so now you know what makes the Galaxy Watch 4 so special for B2B deployments. Let's take a look at some of the use cases that are becoming more and more popular for our customer and developer partners. We are seeing that almost 80% of businesses that have deployed wearables see them as strategic to future success. And they are realizing improvements to business performance from these deployments. But what are the two main use cases for wearables? Worker safety and productivity. So let's take a look at worker safety and how you can leverage the biometrics and the sensor data on the watch to deliver solutions that help to manage worker health and minimize risk in the workplace. We just covered that either via the Wear OS platform APIs or via Samsung private APIs, you can access the sensor and biometric data from the Galaxy Watch 4. There are a myriad of use cases and implementations, but essentially this access allows you to identify patterns in employee health indicators and ensure well-being in the workplace. Or to capture movement and location through the work environment and marry that to health indicators to ensure safe route guidance, employee behavior, and general health. In more recent times, some of our partners and customers have used the Galaxy Watch as a tool for social distancing during these challenging times. So let's take a look at this last use case in a little bit more detail. 2020 was quite the year, 
our world changed quickly as we worked to understand and adapt to the challenges we were faced with. Ford Motor Company committed to manufacturing personal protective equipment, or PPE, as the pandemic took hold, and they wanted to deliver trust to employees working on this PPE, reinforcing social distance behaviours, and to provide details of workplace engagements to aid in contact tracing in the event of infection. Ford worked closely with Radiant RFID, an expert in the field of tracking and data analysis, and us here at Samsung to develop a solution for the Galaxy Watch. We had a really short window to deliver this, moving from ideation to prototyping to deployment in a space of about a month. We leveraged Bluetooth to identify and track contacts as employees moved around the workplace, and the device screen and haptic feedback delivered close contact notifications. This solution helped to change employee behavior as they actively minimized their engagements within the work environment. Ford no longer leveraged this solution as they've moved on to full production, but it was a really innovative solution for a very immediate and real world problem. Worker productivity typically comes back as the top response in surveys of wearable uses in the workplace. And the Galaxy Watch delivers numerous ways to enable productivity. The location of the watch on the user's wrist makes for an ideal and convenient and effective tool to deliver tasks, notifications, and instructions to the workers in the field without having to take out a phone or a tablet. This hands-free digital device brings work instruction and detail to the worker and enables workers to stay focused on the task at hand, delivering efficient workflows and minimizing downtimes from checking on manuals or other messages on other devices. And the connectivity of the watch through the phone, Wi-Fi or LTE, enables direct voice communication with other users, again enabling efficiencies. At Samsung, we devoted time and effort to implement a worker productivity solution that includes all of these capabilities, and we called it GearUp. While it started life as a Tizen solution, our friends at Harman have now taken on GearUp and are bringing it into the Wear OS environment. We wanted to share with you some of the details on GearUp to showcase the art of the possible for developers in terms of building out a worker productivity solution on the watch and also to highlight this ready-made solution for customers looking to explore deploying wearables in the workplace. To tell us more about the worker productivity and efficiencies that GearUp delivers, I'm happy to introduce Swapnil Bandekar, who is a senior program manager at Harman for GearUp. Thanks, Kevin. Hello, everyone. I'm Swapnil. I'm glad to introduce you to Samsung GearUp platform that is built using the best features that a smartwatch has to offer. So far, we have been using smartwatches primarily for notification and for fitness as a fitness tracking device. With the latest features that a smartwatch has to offer, we can address several critical enterprise use cases like mobile workforce tracking, worker safety, real-time task assignment, automation of some routine tasks, and many more. Some industries that come to top of my mind are construction, oil and gas, chemical industries, transportation, logistics, public safety, and loan worker. GearUp platform can be used here for various use cases, from a simple use case of tracking your workforce to many more. To give you an example, let's talk about oil and gas or chemical industry. GearUp platform offers custom maps. With this, you can track if your workforce is in designated work area or not. Admin can get alerts if someone steps into a restricted zone. This same feature can be of a greatest advantage in case of an emergency search and rescue operation. Knowing the exact location of a person is going to be of great help. Another use case is for public safety. Let's say you have designed a training program for your new recruits. GearUp platform can get you insights into training's performance. These are some of the examples. GearUp platform can offer much more. Let me talk about Samsung's GearUp solution. GearUp solution consists of three parts. First, Samsung Galaxy Gear Watch. The Samsung Galaxy Gear Watch is an enterprise ready with a secure rotating bevel that allows easy access while wearing gloves and it is intrinsically safe. Secondly, 
Nox configure for variables. Your IT admin can create device profiles, settings, restrictions and gear up app. And once the devices are enrolled into your enterprise, they can receive an update using mobile data or Wi-Fi. Samsung Knox offers enterprise level device security. Third, Samsung Gear Up, which is a cloud backend. Your organization's users are your primary data source. They wear watch and provide data to the Samsung Gear Up platform. Secondly, with Samsung Gear Up app, users receive time critical information such as alerts, upcoming tasks, while the admin and team leaders can monitor the performance using a web-based gear up UI such as their current location, their heart rate, etc. Here is some more information on the main building blocks of gear up. First, a smartwatch software that consists of gear up UI, gear up services, man down application and watch face application. Secondly, a cloud backend that hosts the essential services. Some of them are listed here. Third, the enterprise solution. This is primarily your command and control center. It consists of primarily two things. First, the dashboard API and second, admin UI. Getting on to some of the key features that Gear Up platform has to offer. First, for worker safety, SOS alert, man down alert, custom maps and geofencing. Second, to facilitate communication, we have voice and text messages, broadcast messages, and indoor location tracking using BLE beacons. Third, for task management, we have admin dashboard, managing users and groups, and outdoor location tracking. To summarize, GearUp is an exciting platform that is bringing up several new use cases across industries. This platform can be configured for customer needs. We can also integrate this platform into your existing enterprise infrastructure. We at Harman are excited to help customers to take advantage of this platform. Currently, we are moving this platform to Wear OS. This will again help us to take this platform to many more users. Thank you. Kevin, back to you to finish it up. Thank you, Swapnil. That was super helpful and insightful. So that's almost all for our B2B wearable session. To finish, we wanted to leave you with a few things to consider. First, as you consider developing a B2B app for Wear OS and the synergies that this brings with Android, head on over to the Android developer site for guidance on the core development tools. We also have some guidance on developer.samsung.com, but Android is a full development tool. Second, those sensor APIs we covered earlier, again, you can access the platform APIs on developer.android.com and the Samsung specific private APIs are available on request. Which brings me to the last resource, who should you contact? For more information, you can check out the Knox Partner Program on partner.samsungknox.com. Sign up is completely free and you get access to development resources and go to market resources too. Or you can surely connect with your local Samsung contact for more details. Or finally, if you wish, our team here in Suwon can be reached at the emails shown here. And that's all from us. Thanks so much for joining us today. Hope you enjoyed this and the other STC sessions. Please reach out for more info as needed and please consider the Watch 4 for your B2B worker safety and productivity solutions.